Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be a new series I'll be doing. Um, this series will be, I'm probably calling it Grand Blue Talks or something like that. In this series, I'll be kind of doing tips and talking about things in a game. Um, generally, questions I find very common, I get in comments. I will be just going over those in a video. So if you guys like it, um, leave a like on it and I'll keep doing it. Just to know, I won't be doing this like every day or something. It's going to be a little bit more effort than normal. So we'll see how it goes in the future. But with that, let's get on to the video. Now in today's video, we're going to be looking at what to do with the muskets bars. Now you may not know what that is if you're a newer player, but it's very simple. You can go to your menu, go to shop. In the shop, you can go to treasure trade. If you're a newer player, you will have the muskets ingots in the shop. If you're an older player, you will not have these because most of the time you have farmed them out. But if you're an older player, why are you watching this video, bro? Now, with these, many new players may see the number 10 and believe it restocks. It does not restock consistently. It does restock randomly whenever Grand Blue feels that they want to bless us with the... Uh, restock but just know that the restarts are very scarce and just do not be expecting a restock i do not know how many damascus ingots are in a new account right now off the top of my head but in this account right now there's 10 so bare minimum you will have 10 tradable so that is able to take three weapons up to max limit break which is very good and that's a good jump start for any new player looking to succeed in Grand Blue Fantasy. Now, one thing I would like to mention is that do not use these bars on anything that's farmable. If it's farmable, you farm it. If you're unlucky, keep farming. Just like everybody else, we all have been in that situation. Do not use these bars in farmable weapons or um, items. So it's very important. So with that, just keep that in mind. Now with that, you're probably wondering which weapons are to be used with the Dama Bars. Um, if you haven't noticed, I do call Damascus Bar Dama Bars for abbreviation. So for the duration of the video, I will be addressing them as Dama Bar. So just so you guys can understand that. But for the weapons that will be used with these Dama Bars, you're looking at your grand weapons and your flask out weapons. These two are the most important weapons to be used with these bars. Um, though not every weapon is stellar and of the top tier, we are going to break them down each weapon so that you can understand which weapon is really, really good and which weapon is more situational and, well, not so great. So. With that, we're going to be looking at the tier 1 weapons. These weapons are your go-to weapons where each one of these are pretty much standard in every grid for their Ellie. And they will always be there. Almost all the time. So, with that, first one weapon we're looking at is Ichigo Hit the Fury. Um, this weapon is the Earth Katana. comes with Kain. This Katana is very strong as it comes with a normal attack modifier and a strength modifier or stamina as the people like to call it with this um this katana has a, also a very good ogi it's both viable in magna and primal primarily in uh, primal it's more of a stamina modifier for your grid while in magna it serves the purpose of a main hand weapon as its main effect ogi is an attack boost and a pretty unique ogi being double attack at 50% chance. So it's a very strong weapon in both pools if you're Magna or Primal. So this is a very good option for Earth players if they want to go this route as you get both benefits depending on what pool you want to run. The next weapon will be Eden. Now Eden is not as versatile in both grids. Um, in Magna it's been used but I would not recommend barring this weapon for Magna. While it is a main state weapon in primal in the primal grid though it's never a main hand weapon so if you're looking for a main hand 
spear weapon. This is not the weapon for you. It has the same modifiers as the Ichigo Hit the Fury, being a normal attack modifier and a stamina modifier. So this is your go-to stamina weapon for light. Also comes with Lucio, so pretty cool. Next weapon is the Fallen Sword. Fallen Sword is a dark weapon, so now you can probably see we're going through each alley right now. Dark is very strong, but this weapon is a tier one weapon um, for most content, not all content, as the uh, Gisela's have now taken over Bahamut high level. Something I should note for, for people who are investing in Fallen Sword, Gisela is still a mainstay in your grid, in your options for building a team. So just throwing it out there. As I mentioned that this is a stamina weapon, it comes with a normal attack mod and medium stamina like the previous two weapons. Now, as for a main hand, the main hand is not that great. So if you're looking for using this in Magna, probably not the best option, just like the Eden. The Ogi effect is not that great, though it's a mainstay in majority of Hades pools or primal pools. It's not in every pool, as, as I mentioned, Bahamut high level is going with a midi pool. So just keeping that in, just keeping it out there for you guys who want to invest into this weapon. The next weapon is probably the most infamous weapon, Ixiba. This is the fire katana, comes with Sturm. Very, very common weapon, used in everything fire. Pretty much used everywhere for fire because, you know, even though they have Crimson Finger, um, you can never go wrong with the katana. It's a very strong Ogi effect as it comes with Assassin. Assassin, <laughs> both usable in Magna and Primal, actually. Um, Magna is more for the Ogi Assassin buff, though Magna does have a hard time capping with said buff as the multiplier is rather low. So if you're really using it at the main hand, it's really for the like 1% who has their Magna Grid completely maxed out, including your ultimate limit break Opus. Outside of that, you pretty much have no use for it in Magna. While Primal, it's as I mentioned, it's a mainstay weapon, boasting that nice medium stamina modifier with the highest attack of any of the current grand weapons. So with the massive attack modifier, um, and the high base stat, the very strong weapon, and it's the mainstay for any Agni build currently. This can change in the future though. And for our last tier one weapon, this is Drang Ball. And you're probably wondering why Drang Ball. Um, I actually don't know the name of the weapon, to be honest. I just call it Drang Ball. I legit don't know the name of the weapon. I, I do not know. <laughs> Probably should have looked this up before I started the video, right? But uh, you, you, you see the picture, so. <laughs> this ball is very important. Um, the reason that it takes priority over the other three options in water being Europa Spear, Foliath, Bow, and Mergs, because of the fact that Bony Toe exists. Bony Toe being a thing does give Ogi built a little bit more priority in water as it's your main go-to content or it's your main go-to setup in all casual content as in your one turns for pretty much every event in the game, your Magnus, your Ultimate Bahamut, all things like that. It's very important where you have a nice solid one turn and you can consistently pull out really high burst damage with low effort. It makes farming 10 times easier. And in a game that's based around farming, I, I believe most people want to have their farm easy. So Drang Ball makes it for the number one slot in water. In my opinion, you may have a difference of opinion. I understand that. But for what I feel, I feel like in a farming game, while farming, the ball takes priority as the other weapons are not nearly as important. So, um, and you may notice something. There is no wind weapon. Yes, none of the wind weapons currently in the game, I feel, are tier one bar ability, are tier one able bar weapons, I guess. So I do not feel any of the wind weapons are of that caliber. And with that, we're gonna go on to our tier two weapons.
Now, before I go into tier two, I was originally gonna have tier one and tier two be a combined video, but um, I obviously am not gonna go with that route. I decided to break up tier one into its own video as I wanna get feedback on th things that should change. Um, also, a couple things I wanna know about the video itself. One, there is only one magda pool shown as a sample little grid because the other weapons don't really go that great with magna they can be used with magnas but i generally don't recommend using them and i'm like as a main hand so because of that i don't really want to put a sample magna grid if i myself wouldn't really use them for that purpose um, as for why there's no primal pools, um, because there's so many different types of grids you can build that it would be overwhelming for me to post like different videos or different pictures of each type of grid. So um, it's more about what's in your box and what you have access to rather than what grid you're going to build because you have many options in primal opposed to magna. Magna kind of has its the set standard because of you know the weapon being farmable while primal do have farmable weapons depending on how many grand weapons you have can make a huge difference in how you build your your team your pool so that's why there will be no pictures for primal um i'm also taking any suggestions you guys have so leave them in the comments and if you guys really like this i'll keep doing it we'll come back with tier two um, I believe there will be four tiers, two, three, and four. Example of what tier two may be looking like, just to give you guys like, an idea. AKs, Parazoniums, um, that would be tier two. Tier three idea will be, you know, your, your, your not so great weapons like Folia Bow, a little bit more situational and whatnot. So, um, just tell me how you guys feel about it and we'll get on with there. Um, also, I consider doing it for vintage weapons if, if you don't know what a vintage weapon is it's your gisela crimson finger durandal a little bit more meme centric weapons um they have uses but they're not like mainstay anymore so the tell me how you guys feel about it and we can uh move on from there anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye